It's time now for Countywide, a special presentation of Yavapai Broadcasting News. Join News Director Paul David and News Editor Philip Katafamo as they talk with our community's leaders, newsmakers, and people in the know. You'll hear about the hot topics in Yavapai County that affect all our lives. And now here's today's Countywide. Welcome to County Wide. I'm Paul David. As always, it is great to have you in studio with us today. We are sitting down with Big Brothers, Big Sisters, Executive Director, Aaron Maybury. Good morning. We've got a Maybury in studio today. and Thank you very much for being here. Good morning. azbigs.org is the website. azbigs.org. All right. We're going to just jump right into it. You've got a big thing going on this year. 50th anniversary. 50th anniversary. We're 50 years big this year. I can't believe that. Can you believe that? Over our 50 years, we have served over 11,500 youth throughout Yavapai County. Wow, 11,500 just in Yavapai County. In Yavapai County alone. Wow. Now, the organization, Big Brothers Big Sisters, nationally is 100 years old. So wow. So we've been doing, doing this for a long time. Uh-huh. Some people don't know what it is to be a big brother or a big sister. Maybe we should start right from there, because like you said, it's you've been there now, executive director for three years. Three years. And I've not been. talked to you, so That's true. it's time for a refresher course on what Big Brothers Big Sisters is. So what is it? So um, what we do is we find kids out in the community that are just in need of, of some support and a friend and a mentor, and then we match them with a big, what we call littles and bigs, but our, our bigs are just a dedicated, a caring adult um, that just wants to spend a little time with, with a youth and help inspire their potential. That's mm -hmm. really what we're all about. Now there's a lot of layers to that. Um, yeah, it's not quite that easy, is it? But yeah, it's, it's, it sounds easy, but um, there is a lot of layers, but it is definitely worth it. Okay, okay, definitely. so let's talk about, let's peel some of those layers away. Sure. So what are some of the things I'm gonna have to do if I'm interested in this? Now, is it does it matter if I'm single, if I'm married, or any of that stuff, or just as, I'm a big, I'm considered a big, if you, right? If you, would, if you wanted to be a big, uh -huh. Here's the first thing, it takes no skill set. Okay. You know, uh, just a little dedication, maybe an hour or two a week with a kid. We ask for, um, for you to sign up for at least a year so that that child has uh, some consistency. And um, doesn't matter if you're male, female, if you're married, not. Um, we have some incredible family bigs. Um, oh, family bigs too. Yeah, okay. so a family can go in and, and be a big family. Mm -hmm. um, we have couples, we have um, sing, you know single bigs, we have community bigs. So if you wanted to be a community big or a community match, you could go out and do things, you know, pick them up on Saturday and go hang out at the park or go fishing or do those kind of things. Um, we also have school-based matches. So if you feel more comfortable where there's some other eyes around and that kind of thing, you can actually meet them on school campus. Okay. Um, so you can go and sit and have lunch with your little or um, uh, arrange with the teacher to sit down and maybe do some you know, games and that kind of thing on campus. Sure. Um, that's a, that is actually a, um, one of the models that we use for our Bigs in Blue uh, project. So that, that whole program is surrounded with um, Bigs in Blue in the badge. Um, so they are law actually enforcement. law enforcement. Uh -huh. So how cool would that be to have? Are the firefighters feeling a little? Uh, they can do that too. Okay, yeah. all right. So okay. yeah, I mean, everybody has to go through background checks sure. and do that kind I of thing. I was going to ask you, that's one of the questions I was going to ask you because, yeah, the, and then I do want to talk about just how much time is required. You mentioned it's about a year. You'd like at least a year commitment for that consistency so the child has that consistency in their life. At least a year, but I'll tell you what, um, <laughs> we have an incredible success rate. Uh, we really support the relationships um, with through our staffing and and um, the whole program itself but um, the average length of our matches is over four years um, we have bigs and littles that are in contact for their whole lives I would imagine um, yeah because they're they're really a, a true relationship a meaningful relationship I gotta think some of these success stories where you have somebody who comes along and is a big and they have their little the little probably I would have to guess eventually grows up and thinks you know what I'm gonna get back and I'm gonna do this same thing you know it's we, gotta be. we have some great stories um, you know? we have littles that call and give us um, 
stories about how, how their big impacted their life. And we also have bigs and littles that as the little kind of ages out, what we call age out of the program, um, they'll go and get another little together. So they'll be two bigs with another little. Oh, and okay. so All they'll right. have this big brother system going on. It's like a or generational big sister. thing going on. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we have quite a few of those actually. And it's a, kind of a popular thing for, for them to do, especially now. I mean, we need bigs so bad uh, with COVID. Why? And yeah, why? Why do we need them so bad? Yeah, well, you know, kids are really disconnected. Um, through through COVID, especially, um, you know, the being um, in and out of school and off and off, off and on campus, and those very kind little of consistency are, right now in life. Yeah, yeah, and they're really really struggling. So, uh, what we saw through uh, 2020 was just people didn't understand um, how they were going to be playing those roles. You know what the mechanism was because they couldn't meet in person. Mm -hmm. So we saw a lot of people, and we had. We live, you know, in Yavapai County, there were a lot of people that moved away. Um, oh, so, so a lot of those relationships were kind of left dangling. My next question, then, did we have a drop in bigs? We did. We obviously we did. had a drop in bigs. You just talk about people moving away, and I noticed that too, yeah, that yeah. people have been moving away. Well, and volunteerism, uh -huh. uh, all-time low everywhere. Everyone. Oh, yeah, everywhere. all the 501c3s have been telling me the same thing as well, that volunteers yeah. are drastically low, So, right. and now's the time to get back in if you want to volunteer. Absolutely, and yeah. our youth need it more now than uh -huh. ever. I mean, they really, really, really do. Um, that just watching some of the some of the stories that we hear, you know, from our from our littles, how important it is for them to be connected, and not only just connected to a, an adult, but supported. So what Big Brothers Big Sisters does is we our our staff are professionally trained and agreed social workers, and every one of our matches, um, they sit down and they, they have goals, they go through um, you know the supports that they need, they um, will call each of the big, the little, and the family each month um, for the first six months and then and then that kind of gets a little bit easier as they go, you know, um, so that time commitment is really just about connecting, hey, you know, my, my little um, is in need of a resource what can I do? And our social workers will set them up. Um, we serve about 350 families a year on average. And um, this is all of Yavapai County? In Yavapai okay, County. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. 350 a year. Yeah, so okay. we actually will even connect with the parents. Hey, you need resources, you need some help with this, um, especially through COVID. Um, you know, we were finding food and shelter and, and jobs and helping um, the kids with. Uh, computers they needed computers to get you know through school and that kind of thing so we were helping with those things and helping with resources and connecting them to all the other partners that we have throughout Yavapai County so what Aaron's telling me right now is that when I become if I became a big oh, yeah. um, you're not gonna just say okay this is your little have no, fun see no. ya and there we really need to it sounds like you've got a lot understand. more involved in this they're very yeah, yeah, involved yeah, yeah. and and um, honestly, the relationships are not just with the big and the little, or the uh, the little and the families, um, but actually those those match advisors, our, our staff, have that relationship as well, and those go on for years and years and years. Mm -hmm. They're just amazing. So it probably sounds it sounds pretty rewarding. Your job sounds pretty rewarding. It is. A lot of, I, lot of good stories, a lot of happy yeah. stories, a lot of successes. Lots of great successes. Rarely um, a negative, probably, in your line of work. You know, we, we uh, a lot of our staff come from Department of Child Service or uh, Safety, DCS, and um, they come over and they go, oh, it's just so refreshing, you know, it's, right. you know, positive and and I get to actually support the families and the and the kids and That's really so cool. yeah, it's pretty fun. Yeah. Um, so we take yeah. our we gotta take our first break. Oh great! I know we gotta take our first break. Okay, so Big Brothers Big Sisters Executive Director Aaron Mayberry with me today in studio. AZBigs.org is the website. AZBigs.org. Fifty years Big Brothers Big Sisters in Yavapai County. Stick around. Countywide back in just a couple minutes. Who doesn't dream of home improvements? Perhaps your kitchen, the real living room. Maybe the bathroom, where you bookend your day. Langstrand Contracting is your one-stop shop from teardown to finishing touches. 
With 35 years of experience, Chris and his team will work with you to match your family's style and budget. Call Langstrand Contracting today for guidance in bringing your vision to life. Award-winning Soundbites Grill is an entertainment restaurant located in Uptown Sedona at the Hyatt Pinion Point Resort. Open for lunch and dinner, featuring fresh fish, all-natural hand-cut beef, even a full vegan menu. Family-friendly, open 1130 to 9, late dining on Friday and Saturday. Soundbites Grill has some of the best views of the Sedona Red Rocks. Offers world-class entertainment, food, fun, and music. Your carpet is the largest air filter in your home, trapping dust, dirt, and germs from the air that your family members breathe, even the furriest ones. That's why it's important to keep your carpet and tile clean and hygienic with regular cleanings by Zero Res. Zero Res uses state-of-the-art technology and ZR water, not soap or harsh chemicals, so zero residue is left on your home surfaces. Schedule your appointment today because a clean home is a healthy home. Visit ZeroResNorthernArizona.com. The mouth is the gateway to the digestive system. Studies indicate a correlation between oral health and full body health. Regular cleanings and checkups can help protect you. New patients are welcome at Arizona Smile Designers in Cottonwood. There's a full smile worth of services all offered under one roof. Whitening and cosmetic to implants and smile reconstruction. Find out more or request an appointment online at azsmiledesigners.com. Welcome back to Countywide. Uh, Director Aaron Mabry from Big Brothers Big Sisters is in studio with us today. azbigs.org is the website, azbigs.org. Uh, we wanted to talk a little bit about uh, commitment to the program, my commitment to the program. Uh, I was saying uh, during the break there, I was telling Aaron, that said, it's probably pretty easy for somebody who gets put with a child, they got their little now, and you start spending time with them, and you're like, well, you know what, that's pretty fun, and we could do some more and more and more and more, where sometimes it might be, you said, big exhaustion could, could occur. Yeah, what so, we don't want to do yeah. is th that there's an expectation that the, the big is, becomes a parent or a counselor. That is not the intention of this program. Um, the intention of this program is to have a friend. Um, so it, it's, um, and supportive. So. Um, when you think about kids today, you know, they hear a lot of negatives and you can't do this or you, you're not good at that or that kind of thing. How important is it for them just to hear, you can, and let's find a way to do this. The bigs are yeah. supposed to be a really a positive reinforcement to the child, correct? Yeah, yeah, they're, yeah. they're really about the child's potential mm -hmm. and being able to, you know, support them and, and inspire them. Um, we do, this is part of our job is to keep tabs on making sure that the big is not spending money on the child, that the expectation is that uh, that they go on extravagant trips. Actually, they're, it's, it's not encouraged to have gifting and, and those kind of things, but rather just to spend time together. It doesn't have to be expensive, um, and it doesn't really you're not there to babysit or, or um, you know, take care of the child or feed them or clothe them. That is not, that is not the point. I think you said friend. You're supposed friend. to be a friend to the, the, the kid. Yeah, just be yeah. a friend. And we do have mentors that are under the age of 21. Uh -huh. So we have high school bigs that can mentor younger kids. Of course, they would not be driving them around or taking them on trips or buying them gifts. They're high school students. Sure. So that same model goes all the way through however old you are as a big. Well, that's interesting. So, so how much time do you require me per week, per month, per year? Well, we ask that you commit, you know, for a year, at least one year okay. again, um, and, and maybe an hour or two a week, um, making sure that that's consistent uh, with that child because they really need that consistency, okay. somebody to lean on. You bring up the consistency thing, and I think you know some folks might hear this and say, oh, that's something I want to do, I'd be great at that, but you better make sure you've got a chunk of time 
that you can hold on to and have because that consistency is so important. Yeah, I'll tell you, you know, we see a lot of folks that come in, they're retired and they've got plans and they've got kids and grandkids and that kind of thing that they want to, um, you know, but they just want to give back and which is great. Awesome, um, yeah, very. Yeah, uh, we do ask for that year. And so during our interview process, we do ask, you know, are you gonna travel this year? Um, we don't want you to be here for three months, get connected, and then disappear for six months right. um, while you're establishing that relationship, that important relationship with that child. So, so we do go through a vetting process with anybody that applies. It's a pretty deep background check, uh, fingerprinting, um, and then our, our um, enrollment specialists will sit down and interview and make sure that this is a good match uh, for the program. And then there's a whole nother um, process that happens with the child enrollment. So we sit down with the child as well, make sure that the parent is um, on board with the program and that they're going to follow through with their part um, and encourage this, this relationship. But we really wanna make sure that this match is a good match. So it's not just that they're two guys or two girls, um, but that they are compatible, that they have things in common, that they can get together and shoot hoops or you know do crafting. Or that was gonna be my next question. Do you help me find, like if you, if you sign, sign me up with a kid who loves sports, I'm not a big sports person, so you know. That's probably not gonna work. It's probably not gonna work, but you yeah. could find somebody. But it, if they were right. somebody that was like, you know, I've always wanted to be on TV guess what, we've got this amazing big that can help you yeah. know, show you around. Uh -huh. And maybe that would be something that, that you guys have in common sure. and uh, can get to expose that child to something so great that is going on right in their backyard mm -hmm. that a lot of kids don't know about. So. And, and you've got 147 littles right now we have just kind of hanging out and waiting. Waiting. Our wait list is, is always tremendous. We have lots of mm. reference uh, referrals from too bad. coaches and teachers and parents mm -hmm. um, and uh, they will enroll the kids. Now we do our best to keep in touch with those kids, um, even though they're on a wait list. We have some kids, we just matched one that was, um, he was waiting for over 900 days. Oh. So do that math, he was, the, he was on a yeah. wait list for a long time, right. we just got him matched, it was a great match. Um, but it was very difficult to find uh, that specific big um, that would be compatible with that child. There were a lot of um, but obviously it's doable barriers. It it happens. Obviously. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Mm -hmm. And the more volunteer pool that we have, the better placement we can find. Yeah. And then how does how does you mentioned you have school people, churches they they recommend kids to you. Is is parents. that a process for a parent to to come in and say, hey, I would like you to try to find a, a, a big for my little? It's super easy. They okay. can go online. They can give us a call. Oh, uh, okay. Go online azbigs.org. Um, there's a child enrollment button. Um, we go through that. We give you a call. We sit down. We do an interview, um, and then we get to know the family and the child, and how we're going to best support that that family and that child. We have lots of um, kids that are our siblings that have different bigs, so it's not like oh you get one big for your family, but we'll actually find a big for each of the children because they're all different, of course. Oh wow. So um, so a lot of our families have several bigs involved in a family. <laughs> okay, all right, well there's so, nothing wrong with that, right? No, that's, that's it's great. great. That's yeah. great, okay. It's a one-on-one, -on -one, it's a one-to-one -one mentoring relationship. So it's not a group thing. Um, the big is not you know, expected to go and pick up all the kids um, from a family or whatever, but they actually have their own big. Can, I have, their can I have multiple littles? You could. A you person could. can have multiple littles. You okay. Could. So could. if I'm just, you know, filthy, stinking rich and I retire early and I've got all this time on my hand, I could. Well, you know, it's you know. not all about being rich. It is about no, having but the it's time. It's the time, having the time to do something like that. And so. each of those relationships would be separate. Mm -hmm. So it's up to our staff sure. to ensure that that big, if they did have multiple littles, which some of them do, and some of them actually get. Um, what, what we are calling layered um, uh, relationships where the big and the little 
kind of grow up together and they, you know, the, the little is getting ready to age out and they'll go and find another little together. So we have like this layered relationship that's happening. And, when does a little, experience when does big. a little age out? What age? Um, well, 18 is, is okay, really adult. when they become an adult. Right. However, if we keep them in the program and we can encourage them through college and those kind of things, they can stay actually up to 24 and 25 okay. um, as, a, as a match. Uh, depending on if they're still engaged and we're still, you know. And as you mentioned, if, if, if they're with the big for any period of time and it, it clicks and it goes well, they're going to know each other for the rest of their lives. Absolutely. Are, they're their big brother and sister. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah. Uh, that, that's, that's the whole goal. idea. Yeah. Big Brothers Big Sisters Executive Director Aaron Mabry with us in studio today. The website is azbigs.org. Their 50 year, 50 year anniversary is coming up this year in Yavapai County. Stick around countywide back in just a couple minutes. Terrifying jobs, Bull Rider, take two. Cliff, this seems like a really terrifying job. Why do you do it? I love protecting the Bull Riders when they get bucked up. How big are these bulls? 12 to 2,200 pounds of pure muscle. You're not cowed by any of this, obviously. Is there anything that scares you? Yeah, distracted drivers terrify me. Two things we can count on every year. A new set of tax rules and great weather here in northern Arizona. Jackson Hewitt Tax Service, locally owned and operated by Lewis Rice since 1997, is here for you all year long. Your neighborhood Jackson Hewitt Tax Office will help you in all of your taxing situations. Electronic filing is always free with your tax preparation at Jackson Hewitt Tax Service. Get more in return. Call 1-800-234-1040 for an office near you. The EPA says CNB Construction ranks in the top 1% nationally. CNB Construction invites you to see what energy efficiency and indoor air quality can be. We have won another Department of Energy Innovation Award, and CNB Construction is the only contractor in the country to win six consecutive EPA Indoor Air Plus awards. Experience our zero energy move in ready homes at Crossroads at Mingus. CNB Construction, locally respected, nationally recognized. Find out more at CNB. Homes.com. Award-winning Soundbites Grill is an entertainment restaurant located in Uptown Sedona at the Hyatt Pinion Point Resort. Open for lunch and dinner, featuring fresh fish, all-natural hand-cut beef, even a full vegan menu. Family-friendly, open 11.30 to 9, late dining on Friday and Saturday. Soundbites Grill has some of the best views of the Sedona Red Rocks. Offers world-class entertainment. Food, fun, and music. Welcome back to County Live. We're wrapping up our show with Big Brothers Big Sisters Executive Director Aaron Mabry. AZBigs.org is the website. They have 147 littles right now looking for a big. So if you got some time on your hands and you'd like to mentor a child, give them a call or go to azbigs.org and sign up that way as well. So, I want a story out of you. We've got a couple minutes All left, right, so give me, a, give, give me a good quality, give me some great stories. big, I little, hope, little, big story. I hope I don't cry on camera. Okay, okay. <laughs> I will try to keep myself from doing it as well. <laughs> so, we received a phone call about two years ago from a woman who um, um, was looking for her big, and she had lost touch with her, her big, and she was a little in the program back in the 80s. Okay. So uh, back in the 80s, of course, we didn't have computers to uh, pull up databases and this and that. So we knew that there was um, files somewhere on paper in a box, I'm sure, somewhere. And we thought, oh, my goodness, how are we going to find this? So she, she was very vague. She said that she had come from um, a very poor family, a lot of um, diversity um, in her family and adversity, if you will. Um, and um, she wasn't really quite sure even um, the, the name of her big. So uh, we thought, oh, goodness, how are we going to, you know, okay, well, we'll kind of poke around in this and that. And she started to give us a couple of, cl of clues. So she called us several times and said, oh, I remember this about her. And she kind of looked like Sally Jesse Raphael. And I think she had a, a shop 
and this was over in Prescott. Um, I think that she had a shop in downtown Prescott. And so we actually called some of our, our friends down at the chamber and, and the business, you know, um, district over there and stuff. And, and we thought that we found this person. And we, so we called uh, this little back and we said, so why, you know, what, what's, what's going on? She goes, look, she goes, I should have been a statistic. I should have never succeeded but I had this very short time with this with this woman who told me that I could do anything I wanted to do. Nice. She said, um, I am the first in my family to graduate from college. She is working on her master's degree in um, uh, some social social work. Um, but she is um, she is a world renowned cyclist and she's a motivational speaker. She's gone all around the world. And um, she, she wanted to think her big. She said in her journey of understanding um, her psychology classes and this and that, she realized that it was that one person that was pivotal. And they didn't even, she didn't even know. So we went on this journey. Well, we dug it up and it turned out to be Sylvia Fan, um, who's Karen Fan's mother. Um, and everybody in, in Prescott knows Sylvia Fan mm -hmm. and, and that kind of thing. Um, but she didn't even, she had no idea that she had made that impact. So during COVID, of course it was during COVID, but we, we've connected them and hopefully we'll be able to get them together <sighs> here pretty quick. And that's just one story. So we're out of time, but I'm sure you've got a billion. Uh, Awesome they go stories. on and on. That's nice. <laughs> so if you want to be part of these big stories, give Big Brothers Big Sisters a try. Executive Director Aaron Mabry, thanks for coming in. Thank if you. you need help in the future, let me know. Yes. azbigs.org is the site. That is today's Countywide. We thank you for watching and listening, and we'll talk to you again next time. Beep.